of it up just fine. Um, when you start seeing big now, you, you know what you could do if you're really worried about it. You could measure your diagonals. Well, that sunset's bright tonight. It is beautiful, though. So, I'm here getting ready for a another undertaking. If you guys couldn't guess, with the milling being moved and things like that being run again. And I want to talk to you guys about logs that are useful for braces in your timber framing. And what is an example of a bad one? This is a beautiful example of a log that is useless to cut up for brace stock. Brace stock and timber frames, your braces are what keeps that building square. It's what keeps it from racking. That's why they're, they're just super important. So you don't want a log that has a bunch of knots in it. This thing is filled with knots. It is horrible. Um, it's a pretty log. Nothing wrong with that. But for braces, it's awful. So what you're looking for, you want more of a log that's nice straight grain. You don't want any big knots in it or anything. Even small knots I try to avoid because what happens is, aside from the fact that you get the knot itself and the wood around it isn't very strong, but as it grows out you get a lot of goofy grains and things like that and it makes for kind of an unstable brace. That is just super important if you're going to be doing it. We're going to be getting back heavy into the tutorials. I'm not telling you guys what I'm doing yet because like I said, if something falls through, I don't want to waste your time or mine, but we're going to start getting back heavy into the information like we did before. Um, so in this video also, we're going to be heading into the forge tonight, do a little smithing, maybe try to wire up that uh, forge press and maybe forge out a couple draw knives. But um, well, that's something I wanted to cover, guys. Uh, you know, Nathan, he's building a timber frame right now. Tim just got done with his timber frame and I still get a lot of timber framing questions because that was the biggest series of videos on this channel and uh, we are gearing up for more. And I hinted at it a while back but um, but anyway that this is a log that's just no good for it. 
And you can tell when you're going to cut it down, if you're cutting a tree down and it has a bunch of branches sticking out of the side of it, chances are it's not going to be worth a damn for braces. And you want the stuff as straight as you can, as straight grain as you can, and as clear as you can. And if you're cutting a softwood frame, a lot of times hardwood braces are nice. I still use the white pine um, just because it's such a stable wood. It's usually pretty straight grain. This is a red pine log. This, this is not something I would use for my timber framing to begin with because like I said before, the bugs like this stuff. There's really no rot resistance at all to it. Not a big fan of red pine, but it does. it's nice for 2 buys and things like that if you're going to keep them out of the weather. And even this with all these knots, I'm probably not going to waste my time turning it into 2 buys. We'll just cut it up into something useful and uh, we'll go from there. But we do have the next one on. It's a beautiful big cherry log we're going to be milling soon. That's all going to get milled into 1 inch, in one inch uh, slabs for cabinet work. So anyway, off to the forge. <laughs>